Hi, I'm David, your developer on Duty, and in this video we're going to use ChatGPT to create a NeoVim plugin. The plugin which we're going to build is similar to the REST client plugin for VS Code. It kind of works like this, that it uses this RFC 2616 specification for an HTTP request and it takes it and actually sends this request and prints the result in a vertical split. So let's see how far we can go by just using ChatGPT. So we start with an empty directory, create a Lua directory, and in this directory we create a file rest.lua. And here we just create an empty table. And now we hope that ChatGPT gives us the correct code to implement this plugin. We can also create a test file. Let's call it test.rest where we just plug in one example HTTP request and this acts as an example to see if the function which is then generated actually works. So let's call this function exec for now and let's just print it. Okay, and for us to test it real quick, let's just create some key mapping, vim key map set in normal mode leader h shall execute this Lua function here. And I set the rest cache to nil in order to be able to re-require this file. And then I can just require it and run exec. Now I need to start it also using um, the command to set the runtime path to the current directory. I open the rest.lua file as well as this uh, test rest file. And now if I run uh, leader h, you can see it's correctly printed. So now let's start with ChatGPT. So we're gonna write, write a NeoVim plugin using the Lua programming language to read the current lines of the buffer and parse the content uh, as RFC 2616. That, that is the HTTP specification. And yeah, let's see what's, what's coming out. Okay, that doesn't seem right. Okay, that is better. So I'm not sure what this LPAC library is. So let's tell it not to use it. Do not use the library. Okay, so it uh, offload, offloaded all the functionality into this parse line function, which is not available, which need to be implemented. But I think we can, we can take this code as an initial step. So let's copy the code and head over to our terminal. Let's define this function here. And of course, this parse line function is not defined. So let's uh, define it really quick and make this also local here local function parse line, which takes a line. Let's just print the line for now. Okay, so we can now call it. So parse RFC 2616. 
and it takes the current buffer, which we can use as zero. So let's try it. Look at the messages. Then we can see that uh, it iterated over the whole buffer and eventually printed all the lines because we use here this pass line function, which just prints it. So it look it looks okay. Write the Lua function to parse some lines into RFC two six one six be data structure must include the method, the URL, the body, and the headers. So let's see if, if that works. So let's just copy paste this whole stuff and bring it over to NeoGen. So le let's make everything local. So let's call it parse lines. And let's also make this local here as well as this. And now we can restructure it a bit. So once we have this, these lines, then we can say local result equals to parse lines. Let's just see if this works. And of course, there are a lot of uh, problems. Parse request line. So there is no global function. Parse request line. So let's define this up front. Now split is a nil value. Of course, we should also test it here. So string is, of course, not defined. But we can just change it to line. So let's try again. So again, it's a nil value. So now the next problem is there is no split function, but it should be actually bim split. And now we try to call global parse header. So let's also move this function up. This is because I made these functions local. So let's try it again. Now again, split in line eight should be bim split. Okay, now there's no runtime exception, which is a bit better. So let's see if we can print the result. So we can just write vim pretty print result. So let's just uh, call messages clear. And now let's try it again. And now you can see we get the body, we get the headers. And we get the re request line with method post and the correct URL. So that looks quite nice. So now what we need to do is to parse it into a curl command. So let's try it. We head over to ChatGPT. Parse this structure into a curl command. All right, so let's copy it. And of course, 
we make this function local. And yeah, let's see how, how this works. So now that we have our result, we can call it on our uh, result. So the name is RFC to curl with our result curl command equals to RFC to curl. Let's just print it. And now you can see this is our resulting curl command, which looks quite nice actually. So now that we have this command, we have to execute it. So let's see if ChatGPT can help us. Write a Lua function in a NeoVim plugin to execute a command and retrieve the output. All right, so let's see if that works. So we make this function local again. And uh, yeah, let's just execute this command. And it doesn't work because spawn expects a table, but it got a function. So apparently vim loop spawn doesn't work like this. So let's just tell ChatGPT of our failed attempt. So vim loop spawn doesn't work like that. Let's see if it fixes it. Okay, now it uses OS execute. So let's try that with this function here. So let's see if it works. And yeah, it executes the, the command, as you can see. Now OS execute returns to the status of this command. So how do we get the response? Let's ask ChatGPT. How do we get the result of the command? Yes, it shows us that it's the access status. All right, and now it tells us to use IOP open instead. So let's try it out. Remove that function and try it. And ISO is not defined. Where was it? In line 14. So let's just get rid of that. Okay, so let's see if we get the output. Yeah, we got the output. You can see some XML. HTTP endpoint is of course not, not nice. So let's use something which we can actually test. So this is HTTP bin post so let's execute it again and now we got some nice little output so let's just return it here return output this we can get rid of so our output is this and now we want to use this information to open a vertical split and paste the output in so we say, 
create a Lua function for a NeoVim plugin to open a vertical split and show a given string. Let's make it as simple as possible. All right, so let's try this out. So we just call it with the result. And um, let's see if this works. No, string cannot contain new lines. All right, let's tell ChatGPT, the string must also contain new lines. Yeah, and now it splits it. That looks better. So now let's copy the code, get rid of that. And of course this split function probably doesn't work. Yep, because it's vim split. Let's try again. All right, and you can see we got the result. So maybe we can clean up a bit. Clean up the following code. I hope it doesn't destroy the functionality. Well, let's see. So Sometimes ChatGPT doesn't present the full result because there's a length res restriction, but we can just continue. And while it generates, we can already paste it in. So this is the first snippet. Let's get rid of all this. And this is the second snippet. And I think one line was now duplicate. Yes, this one here. And the last snippet is here. All right, so let's see if it still works. No, because it tries to call exec in Let's see. Yeah, exact doesn't work, doesn't exist anymore. So the function is called parse RSC 2616. So let's just call it exact. And you can see it still works. Great. For get requests, so we write get. There's no content type. And also that worked. Of course, this plugin is super bare bone and doesn't have many features, for example, authorization or the ability to define several requests in one file and so on. But it's kind of a nice experience to use ChatGPT, you know, to help with tedious tasks. And I'm actually kind of impressed how good ChatGPT actually works. Of course, ChatGPT makes lots of errors and you always need a developer in the end to, you know, distinguish what makes sense and what not but still it's really impressive. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Post in the comments what you will try to build with ChatGPT. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.